Damn, Damn. she smirked this shit. I be round round with them back ends, fuck around with that one shit. Got two bad bitches, they topping me, fucking up they front. I know she got a man, she gon' fuck though. Gelato mix with my runs. I bet this Glock 23 blow. Bro from the D say it's on the flow. She like you got too many hoes. I could turn a bitch to a pro. How the fuck you broke with a phone? I swear the new ops unknown. 25 shots, they're gross. Too much walking hill, we scold. They catching shells, not catching COVID. I'm too high up the mimosas. He gon' die if he get close. I had fucked it up once, stand folks. She wanna come fuck with. So I'm on the way to go drop the cat off to this uh to this shop, get these little imperfections fixed and whatnot. Um, and then <clears throat> on top of the little imperfections that I already had, man, crazy ass story. My car was literally parked outside a bar around Halloween, man, and somebody hit. Like literally, it was parked. I'm inside the bar. My car parked on the corner. Some lady come through, drunk, high, whatever the case, I don't know. Smack the cat, then get up out of there. I'm in the bar, everybody come running in like, hey, somebody hit your car, somebody hit your car. I'm like, man, stop playing, folks. Like, for real. I know anybody just hit my shit. My shit, but like, you gotta be fucking, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me, man. I just got my car out the shop. I just got it back. You ain't never just said somebody just hit it. And I ain't even in it. It's parked. Somebody hit my car while it's parked. Come on now, man. Stop playing. But sure enough, somebody smacked the cat, man. So, I'm finna drop it off to my uh, body shop, man, where they always get me right. And uh, we're gonna go from there. We ain't gonna have all this boy going on for too much longer. Everything that I need fixed, marked up. Just about everything marked up. <sighs> Time to get this mug together. I need, to, I need to have that love for my baby like I had when I first got her, because I swear I ain't been giving too f about shorty lately, man. All this bullshit been going on with my car. I need that love at first sight feeling again, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had that in a while. I've been neglecting this motherfucker because I ain't been feeling like fucking motherfucker clean as hell. For all you just watching my snap, worried about why my check engine light on. It ain't last sensor right here that I didn't have for two months now, but couldn't get into the shop. Ambient temperature sensor, twine. You want none for shit, sure. That ass always talk. Your ugly ass. Gonna get these LED side markers back put on here. Real harbor nigga. But anyway, just thought that I should mention. Yeah, all this bullshit finna get together right now. I don't even fuck around like that. But as you can see, she's still clean as a Still clean in the hell. Still clean in the Eat off the flows in here. I don't know about you other niggas, cars. I don't know how well y'all take care of y'all shit. But he got a spot. Gotta get this right here. Yeah. That little thing right there. Make sure you did that one too. What else? She damn near finna repaint all this shit anyway. Too much to worry about that. Mm -hmm. She got this one already. So here go the um, security footage that I got from the bar when a lady actually hit my shit. Then threw that thing in reverse and got up out of there. One week later.
Well, I'm driving one of these today, man. About to slide up here now. Check on these, check on this Hellcat so I can get my baby back. So we in the rain thing today. Pick the camera back up when I get there. Uh, please. Untouched. Oh, they tripping this one. disappointed came up here expecting to see my car damn near done or close to it or something you feel me but that ain't the case so uh she say people been uh getting on her back about moving some of these cars around so that's what they out here doing that's what she, that's what she said they've been doing all week or whatever moving cars around because they definitely had cars all the way to shit y'all see it cars everywhere so they just moving them around right now for whatever reason she told me but i forgot something got to do with these tanks right here or something but she told me this weekend so hopefully this weekend we can get that done tomorrow we'll make it a full week my car been here so i'm kind of Disappointed to see it ain't where I expected it to be right now, but it is what it is. Carving up here a full week ain't been touched at, man. Like I said, I'm blue. It is what it is, though. She says she has some, some other shit to do, whatever the case. Whatever, man. She told me this weekend. I'm looking forward to this weekend. I don't understand this part though. This mug man just, just whatever. I just know it should be looking damn good when I get it back. A week later. But eventually, man, she started getting it together, started doing knocking out little body work and stuff getting it prepped for the paint. And then when she started laying that paint though, I was like, Ugh. that mother was looking wetter and wetter every time I seen it. She sent me, then she sent me this. I'm like, oh yeah, she can short it together. Two weeks later. So after having my car for so long, the that? second she got done spraying, I went and picked it up. What's on she top said of she had the wear saying above. I said, don't worry about it. I'll bring it back at another time for you to do that. But right now, I got something else to do. I need my car. So it ain't smooth. that's what this is. So at this point, the day she told me to bring it back to get it wet saying the buff, then sit well with me. So I wanted to get it done, get something done faster. So I had started reaching out to a couple of detail spots. And eventually I ended up reaching out to my boy Sko, who's actually my go-to detail. He's the one who's been watching the detail of my car all summer. Actually, all our cars. And he pulled up to the house and said he wanted to try some. And these were the results. This is the drinker called the Wish Nigga Wood. They got one on this. So yeah, see baby back. 
back from the dead, back out that thing. All that little extra stuff that was on it, gone. I changed the uh, Hellcat badges. I gotta get these reprinted. That one too, but I left that one because you know, even though change the name if you type that in it'll still my channel still gonna pop up so man it was clean before I got here as soon as you as soon as you pull off that mug it's picking up all kind of dirt but man look at her though man baby looking good Shout out to Judy, man. She always coming through. There are no baby back here in the hood, too. She out uh, here looking good as usual. Big ass fan in truck flying. I need to change the lighting in this garage so it, I'm gonna convert everything to LED. Put this in LED bulbs and have a good one. Add a gas station lights effect on it when I'm in the garage. But man, it was a crazy story on how what happened when my car got hit. I uh, showed y'all the video when it was outside the bar. but. I end up running across the person that hit my car on some real humbug type stuff. Like, I was just ran on my way to my homeboy at Miles' house to get some food. My, my man's mom's been getting down in the kitchen. I got him cooking that good shit. And we, we, we ran down the street. My man's like, man, that's the car that hit your car. That, that's the, like, I'm like, man, stop playing. He like, man, for real, I swear to God. He like, man, that's the car that hit your car. I just seen it. Because we already knew what type of vehicle it was. We just and me i'm paying no man i'm just ran daydreaming in my zone he on the passenger side lurking he like man that's the car that hit your car i'm like bro stop playing man i spent the block showing up nigga that was the car that hit my car and uh it was a it was a female and she was actually sitting in the car and she seen me, kept riding by and kept stopping and looking at her. She ended up hopping out the car. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, you be, uh, oh, shit, turn that shit off. You be, uh, in East Chicago or whatever? She's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, man. Yo, uh, I'm like, you hit my car. She's like, nah, hell nah. She's like, I, I let somebody drive my car whatever. Now I'm looking like, I, you let somebody drive your car tonight, and they and they brought brought it back looking like this, because her car was way more messed up than mine was, but that's besides the point. Yeah, I think I'm moving too far, but whatever, we're gonna keep it like this. Her car was way more jacked up than mine was, but I ain't got nothing to do with that, so, you know, she, uh, told me what her little story or her version of what happened or whatever. Then she ended up giving me her number, contact information, and went from there. And just like that on some humbug stuff, I knew who had my car, but she was real cool about it. She paid, you know what I'm saying? She paid or whatever. Um, we went to the body shop together. Judy told her how much it was going to cost to get it right, and she went to the bank, cashed me right out, and, and that was that. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to her for being a real one for, uh, I'm saying making not making a big fuss about it or whatever and just paying for her mistakes or whoever was driving a mistake whatever it was her car whatever you know whatever story she's sticking to that's that's it is what it is but it was just crazy because I'm just riding and, and to run it 
to run across the car that hit and ran on you, to run across the car that hit you, is just crazy. This wasn't even, it, we wasn't in the city that the accident happened in or nothing. Like, I was in a, at a bar in East Chicago in the harbor when this happened. I ran across this lady somewhere in Hammond. I'm like, man, look at God, won't he do it? Uh, but for real though, that was, I just found that to be, you know, a blessing, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't have to, because my car had just got out the shop, you know, I had just fixed my car out of pocket, you know what I'm saying, like, so for my car to get messed up and run across the person that did it and pay for their mistake, that was, I was, that was cool to me, you know, damn, I, I, I parked close as hell. It ain't heavy. Ooh. It's close. And uh, yeah, man. So y'all can see though, she back looking good as hell. Uh, she won't be outside much. You know, it's weather funny around here. So we just patiently waiting for car season. Just patiently waiting for car season, and these things will be back outside, back in action, back going crazy. And That's it for this video. I'll I started rapping in the trenches, speaking to the real I lost my cousin, I see him when I look at his kid For the fam, I do it all, catch a case again And 